It took a few days, but finally Goliath and his band found this brand new camera station that we had set up after spotting him just a few weeks ago. As I mentioned in an earlier video, the only time I ever saw Goliath, and it was only once, was four years ago. And then just out recently with our friend Trent, if we didn't come across him again in the very, very same place that we saw him four years ago. So Barb and I decided to go out and set up a salt station. And it took him a few days to find his way back. But this is what it looks like when a wild horse has no idea what a salt block is. He's never seen such a thing. And if you change their furniture out there, they sure know it. You can hear him snorting as he gets closer to the block. <laughs> Can you imagine if that thing had moved? My goodness. So eventually he got close enough where he could get a lip on it and realized it wasn't going to bite. And now he knows what a salt block is. And he loves it. So this video actually is going to uh, cover three days. 15th, 16th, and 17th of March. <laughs> that one might move too, Goliath. You gotta be careful. And then we came out again on the 18th to uh, get the cards. And we were so pleased to see that he was back and brought his band. Now folks, there's not very many horses out here in these foothills that look like this. Pindan is one over at the Aha Tinda. But if anybody wants to tell you these are all backyard, barnyard horses, I'll tell you what, they don't know much about the Spanish horse. And that's exactly what you're seeing here, is traits of the Andalusian. A very, very strong connection to the Iberian horses. It's hard to believe we haven't been running into him all along. But he's kind of in a little bit of a different area than what we normally uh, do in our loop. So now we've expanded our loop to include him. Now the little uh, filly that's with them never did show up throughout these three days on the cameras. She's in there, she's in the trees, but it's the same thing. She has never seen a salt block. She doesn't know what all the fuss is about, and she hasn't even come to try them yet. So all this time we're watching Goliath on these salt blocks, his mares are just inside the tree line. And they just haven't realized what these things are yet. Seems kind of surprising when you see all of the other horses that we follow coming up to the salt blocks. In fact, they travel miles to come back and get a good lick of salt. And these horses here have never seen such a thing. You know, it's surprising. People don't realize. They don't know what carrots are. They don't know what oats are. You know, these guys live on what you see under his feet right there. Look at that gorgeous mane, folks. And unfortunately, he's got a great big witch knot in there that is probably going to get ripped off at some point when it gets caught up. Now, here comes his main mare. 
Look at this. She just spotted the salt block. She says, what is that? Well, I better check this out. It's, this wasn't here before. She's going to come in real slow in case it moves. And she's going to try and get a little lick now. She says, maybe I'll try this. Hey, that's not so bad. That's kind of good. But now I'm going to name this next mare Ginger. She is uh, kind of down the totem pole a little bit from this other mare. But once again, I'm going to come in, check out the salt block, and she thinks that's pretty good. Now there's the baby right behind. That's the uh, alpha mare's uh, little filly. I think it's a filly. And we're going to need to get a little bit closer to check that out for sure. So this is the following day on the 16th of March. And uh, both mares there just enjoying these uh, blocks. And you can see uh, there's a horse down there in the willows. Now there was another stallion right close by when Barb and I uh, came out on the uh, 18th. You can see how she just yields to that uh, alpha mare. Now Goliath is back and this is on the 17th. So this is again, uh, this is the third day since the cameras have been rolling. And he's starting to show some uh, manhood here. It's kind of surprising. It's uh, kind of a different time of year for that to be going on. Not sure if she is actually in full. But definitely he has a lichen for this uh, mare Ginger. So you can see why we put out more than one block, folks. We like to see them get spread out, and quite often we'll have five, six, seven horses come in, so. Some of our salt stations have maybe four or five blocks there, just so they can get spread out and don't have to scrap over who gets the lick next. The snow is starting to melt, but it's still very, very deep out there. Our uh, ranger with the tracks on it is uh, broke down this week. I'm just uh, waiting for a new clutch, actually. We'll get that installed and get back out with the ranger but it's definitely too deep out there for our wheeled machines right now. But up along the edge of the forest like this, uh, usually there's not as much snow. Here's a really nice shot now with Goliath and his two mares. The baby is just up off the top left in the forest. You can see who's the boss here. She's a little crabby. Even Goliath pays attention when she uh, starts with those back feet. You can see how Ginger gives her a wide berth. Now the alpha mare is going to lay down and have a little roll after all that salt. Goliath up on the top left there. Just a beautiful, beautiful little band here, folks. And you know what? We're going to start paying attention as to what's going on over here. And we'll just keep an eye on these guys and uh, see what we get for babies this spring. Now, I think that's actually the, the yearling down in the willows there. Well, there's your two minute whistle, folks. I know the time goes by pretty fast, doesn't it? Even though it's all on one band on this video. 
it's just so unique to see this horse and to see this kind of long hair, big hair. You wonder how he can even see through those forelocks. And look at that, it almost looks like it's brushed right out, doesn't it, folks? Well, what do you think, folks? Is Ginger in full? I know it's hard to say. One thing for sure is they're not starving, even though the grass doesn't look that great. It's enough to keep them alive, that's for sure, and keep them in pretty good shape. There's Barb behind me on the quad, and Frank and Lana coming up behind us in the Ranger. That's his Ranger, that's Frank's Ranger, and, and uh, he's out with us, helping out this day, and Barb's going to get off, we're going to collect some willows for Chucky. Got a Chucky video coming up pretty soon. And Frank's going to check out the activity on the salt block because he hasn't seen the cards yet. And there's a, another video put up by Hawes, folks. Hope you enjoyed it.